Hello, I'm Richard Gallen, and this short video will show you how to separate two very common money spiders, Tenuifantes tenuis and Tenuifantes zimmermani. Females of the two species look very similar. However, the abdominal patterns in the females look quite different. So in zimmermani you have more of a chevron pattern, whereas in Tenuifantes tenuis it's a pale abdomen with a more spotted appearance. The epigynes of the two species are quite different, although you have to look quite closely to see these differences. First thing you look for is this scape. Uh, in Zimmermani, it's very simple in structure, hammer shape, whereas in Tenuifantes tenuis, you have more of this curled margin to the hammerhead. This area in blue is also different in shape, so it's much more constricted in tenuous and more elongated in Zimmermani. And Zimmermani also has these areas highlighted in green, which are not found in tenuous. The males are slightly similar. What you're looking for is the parasymbium, here highlighted in pink in both species. Both species have these spikes. In Zimmermani, they are highlighted in red. This spike is quite obvious, but you may have to rotate the palp left or right to appreciate it, as it often is coming out towards you. In Tenuous, there are two spikes. Uh, one spike is not found in the corresponding area in Zimmermani. Probably the best feature to identify tenuous on the male is this dark black ridge on the parasymbium, highlighted here in blue. This is always very obvious and as you can see in Zimmermani there isn't a similar thickened ridge. Tenuifantes tenuis is a ubiquitous grassland spider. Any bit of rough grassland like this will have it. It's our commonest British spider. There are more records of this in the Spider Recording Scheme database than any other spider in Britain. It always likes open habitats. Tenuifantes zimmermani, however, prefers woodland habitats but you'll also find it in the uplands, under rocks, at high altitude, also in wetland situations at altitude like blanket bogs and so on. If you want any further information on British spiders, please consult the British Arachnological Society or standard texts like Roberts. Thank you.